Hello! When I thought about today's video, I suddenly experienced writer's block. What can I do? I turned to my pen-enabled notebook and started to write and to draw. As if by magic, I came up with an obvious idea. This video would be about pen thinking. In case you look it up, it's not a word. But if it was, it would mean thinking by writing and doodling. Right after this. Though my long hand is quite ugly, I always loved writing. I thought that writing would give me a different access to the topics I deal with. What a research shows, I had the right feeling. For example, a Princeton study shows that students taking their notes in longhand had a better understanding of their subjects than those who typed their notes directly into their laptops. A few years back, I stumbled across Sonny Brown and her Doodle Revolution and, of course, Dan Rome and his Back of the Napkin book. As it turns out, if you doodle during a meeting, you will remember 19% more of what you heard in that meeting. There is also evidence that people working with pen and paper are more creative. So my approach today was to use the screen of my laptop as kind of a paper. I also think if you work on a non-digital medium, you will be more focused on your work because you have less digital disturbances there. I know people watching my videos are exceptionally smart. If you want to even enhance this, switch sometimes to pen thinking. You will see it works every time. You will get a better understanding. You will remember more. You will be more creative and you will be more focused. Sounds too good. Mm -hmm. With pen thinking, some more trees will have to die. Obviously, that is the reason I'm writing on a digital screen. But I have to admit, it's not the same like using real pen. By the way, if you saw my video of day 124 about prolapses, this last point was one. <laughs> okay, have fun. Be smarter with pen thinking. See you tomorrow.